Welcome back, folks. Now, some of you have been asking me to redo the tutorial for the skin modding of all the vehicles in World of Tanks. So it's a very simple do-it-yourself coloring slash painting of the textural files for the vehicle skins. So basically, all vehicles are basically geometric shapes, if you will, a mesh model. And then they have a textural file covering the outside as the skin. So basically, you're just coloring the outside, painting it black or painting it stripes with different markers or emblems or inscriptions of your own choosing. So if you like the tiger stripes of the Pan KR, or if you like the the Ripper mouth thing of the Sherman Ripper thing, you can paint it onto the front of your hull for various vehicles. Now, disclaimer, this is only for your own client. So it's not server side. Only you can see the skin. So it doesn't apply to other players, so it kind of sucks because I want other players to look at my hot pink E100 or something, but it's only to your own client, so they don't get to see it. But some vehicles do need a makeover, like the Romtail Scorpion Waffentrager, the stupid yellowish desert paint with the red lobsters on the gun shield. Ugh, just looks bad. So... This tutorial will show you how to basically paint all the outside of your vehicles. Simple enough. So here you can see this is the T62A. You can paint it gold and modify the glow of the different textural files to give it a shimmer, a shine. So as with all despots or tyrants or dictators, you need to have a golden AK-47, a golden T-54 or T-62, but hell yeah, it looks pretty sweet. And you can modify any other skin mods, like remodels from Milky Man, from Goodman, whatever that you found on the internet. So it applies to everything, not just the basic models. So that's pretty sweet. Now here are the files that you need to download in order to do all the stuff. So the first one is the simplest. It's 7-zip. This is an archive slash extraction files. So all the files are coming in packages of data-based packages or whatever. So you have to extract all the data from those packages. So like special folders. So you need this program. You can click on the link. I'll provide them in the description below. But just download one for your bit system. Next, you need adaption for Photoshop. If you're using Photoshop for the DDS files. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use GIMP. It's a free Photoshop-esque of a program. But you can actually, I think you can download like super old versions of Photoshop like from the 90s or early 2000s. But you still need an add-on for Photoshop. So I'll give you guys the link. But this is basically for the DDS files, particularly for the textual mods. So you need this right here. Download this or GIMP. And you also need the add-on for GIMP for the DDS file. So this one right here. But once you download everything, should be right here. So install this first. Install GIMP if you need it. Or install the plugin for Photoshop. So the GIMP add-on for DDS file is a little bit weird. So you can click on Extract with the 7-zip. Extract Files or Extract here with WinRAR. It's the same program-ish. So just copy and paste this file into program files, gimp2, library, gimp2.0, and plugins. So it's pretty weird. Library, gimp2.0, and plugins. So add it to here. But yeah, there it is. So I already plug it in. But I'm using Photoshop because I'm a little bit better at Photoshop. It's mostly the same, but there are differences in the layer files and other stuff. You'll get used to it. You can find some other tutorials on the internet talking about Photoshop or GIMP. It's very simple to use. It's like Microsoft Paint, except a little bit more difficult or complex, but not that much. So once you have all the programs installed, go to your World of Tanks folder. So here it is. Now, you want to have the original res folder as well as the textual files for the vehicles. You already have the basic models, the standard default models in your res folder. So go to res, 
go to packages and at the bottom is vehicles underscore levels dot 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 so levels mean tiers so choose whichever vehicles you want to modify for example the Romtail Scorpion Waffen Trigger that's tier 8 so right click 7-zip open archive and here is 7-zip opening up the little special folder thing go to vehicles go to German and here is the Romtail Scorpion Waffen Trigger so right click copy to so basically you want to have a folder ready for you to do all the copying and other stuff so I made this folder editing right here so I already pasted it there but click OK and it will extract a copy of the file into the editing folder for you so once you have that so go to that folder up, 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 up. or let me just do it right here desktop oh holy crap all the stuff so here it is I copied the files and now you have a bunch of files you want to mani uh, manipulate so these are the textual skin mods so just open them up with DDS or with the Photoshop or GIMP so choose the default program or the stuff already choose the Photoshop thing so open and here it is so basically you open up this file I already modded this one but you can change all the coloring by layers or enhance color hue and saturation do all the fancy tweaking of the color holy crap so change the color to which one, whichever one you want so basically very simple right and you can do fancy stuff like if you want to make all the different stripes not the same color so I hate the yellowish stripes I think it's terrible so I paint it black with the magic wand so click black paint you know all the tricks simple basic paint stuff so do it yourself you can paint a happy face like happy oh the <laughs> it's not that big so big happy face whatever so do all the painting yourself but this is the skin that applies to the vehicles outside and you don't have to reload the game to find out if the model looks pretty good or not so one second so we'll exit this out don't need to save that but once you're finished editing the skin so this is the file so copy right but here you can see with the in-game model we'll take a look at the Romtail Scorpion right here so preview so that's the original Scorpion skin it looks bleh with a twin lobster red lobster Ugh. so I think it looks terrible so once you have the stuff copy the new file Go to your World of Tanks folder, go to ResMod, go to whichever version you're playing. Currently, it's 9.18. So if there's no Vehicles folder, make a new folder, call it Vehicles. If there's no German folder, so we'll do a new folder. And this should be German. Following the package from Res folder, so the same layout or order. But German and paste. And there you go that's it so this is the edited version of the original skin so that's the black version I painted took me about like five minutes not that much so once you have this go to your armory or go to the game and reload the skin so reselect the vehicle so re preview and there you go folks black skin with the black stripes look a hell of a lot better than the stupid red lobster crap I painted over the lobster just don't even like it but yeah it looks a hell of a lot better than the normal skin you can use the gold skin which is basically yellowish tone so I'll show you right now but I'll also teach you how to modify actual different files so you already know how to get the files from res so I already told you to get the original files from packages in res go down to the bottom and just basically copy the HD model, copy the original model from these folders, right? So you know that. Basic, simple stuff. So copy the Romtail Scorpion, copy the HD model as well. So 7-zip, open archive, same deal. Here it is. So copy both folder to the same folder to edit. And once you finish the edit, copy that edited file into ResMod. And that's it. Simple enough. But what if you're editing like stuff from Milky Man? And it's not in the packages folder. So from Milky Man, he has all the files in mods in 9.18.0. So these are basically another 
archive of all the files. It's just at a different spot. So all you have to do is copy whichever one you want. Basically, the T62A already made a copy, but here is what you do. So it's a simple 7-zip file. Open archive and extract this or copy this to the same file and just delete it from this folder so it doesn't uh, contradict each other. So once you've done that, holy crap, open up <laughs> so many crap. So none of that. Blah, 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 blah. So here is the T62A model file that I already copied. Now, once you extract this, you can use 7-zip to extract here, or you can even open this up and just copy the files. It's the same stuff, so just extract this folder if you want. But once you have the files, go to the files themselves, which is over here. So here are all the skins. Now, in order to paint it gold, gold is very specific. Uh, specific. You need to have, well, I'll just show you. So you need to change the AM, AM files, that's the original base files, and the GMM files. The GMM stands for the glow of the bottles. So basically opening up the original AM files. So you want to do hue and saturation. And you want to do 50, uh, you, know, you want to do colorize. And you want to do 50 and 100. So the hue is 50 and the saturation is 100 for the AM files. And for the GMM files, you want to do, where is the GMM? So for the GMM files, you want to do the same stuff, but you want to add 15 for the lightness. So 100, or oh, colorize, don't forget, oops. Mm. For 100, and you want to put 15 right here at the bottom. So this will add a glow to the skin. So already did a tutorial like this in the past. I don't have the actual graphics back then to show the gold glow of the vehicles, but I'll post the original forum post about all the stuff as well as the instructions again. But that's basically it. So once you've done all of this from Milky Man's files, just copy this folder, copy the example I already did. So copy this, copy the vehicles folder, and paste it into your World of Tanks file by removing the original one from mods 9.18. So I removed the T62A's original model file from here because you don't want to have contradicting files. So once you remove that, go to ResMod, go to 9.18, go to Vehicles, and just paste it right here. So based on Milky Man's path, it's remodels Russian T62A, and that's the gold skin. So very simple stuff. You can tweak it however which way you want. The more, st uh, more time you spent by perfecting the different details, the better it looks, right? So for example, yeah, my gold paint of the T62A doesn't look that great because the wooden log is gold as well as the Dushka. The Dushka? No, it's the KPV giant machine gun. The 14.5 caliber machine gun. That's gold too, but it would look a little bit better if it wasn't like gold. But for example, take more time to single out this gold log and not paint it gold <laughs> because that looks stupid. So more details but the longer time you spent detailing and specifically designing the vehicle skin the better it looks but for now that's the general tutorial on how to fix how to do all the coloring or repaint of the vehicle textual skin files so simple enough and the world is your and the world is your oyster tongue twister but simple enough folks so there you go folks the basic of the basic skin modding tutorial on how to do all the stuff. So go at it. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.